Uh, thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. Normal, amazing. Uh, I can't wait to see what the next year looks like. Um, I'm going to talk about one project in particular. My background is sculpture, installation, public work, uh, artwork, and also I have five plus years in the Reality. Um, but uh, the project that I have in the salon is a project I collaborated with uh, Ricky Graham and Seth Fluid on. We took a LiDAR scanner into a section of woods in upstate New Jersey, close to where I grew up. Um, we spent about two and a half days with the scans in that area. Um, we also collected Amazon recordings while we were there. And the landscape that you're seeing has been reconfigured from the original scans, but not all of them match up perfectly. Uh, the scanner is built to take highly precise measurements and on a windy day in uh, New Jersey Point, it doesn't do very good job. Um, and we were kind of hoping for that. We wanted this to be a represent sort of a memory of the place and not a fully rendered environment. Mm -hmm. um, so in another way, this is kind of like preserving this uh, environment, this place, giving other people access to this. This is the fourth time it's being shown. Um, and it's about 3,000 plus uh, people have gone through the work. This is the scanner out in the field. This is uh, kind of hobbled together through mechanical engineering at the school I teach at. And what's collected is depth information and also on the top there, this camera that's collecting color information. And it comes in as a data sheet, XYZ, RGB. This gets, we pull this in, we kind of tweak the color, cross saturation, mm -hmm. change some other few aspects of it. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the whole image. But this is a 360 image that was collected at the same time as uh, this scan was. These were brought into Unity. Um, and the points, when you walk close to them, dissipate. So uh, from a distance, you can get a clear vision of what the landscape looks like. And as you get close, you kind of can never reach them. It's never clear what you see. And this is a pulled out view of that. So it's about 40 scans total. Um, the audio is running outside of the Unity build through a pure data patch that Ricky Graham uh, wrote. Um, it's an Amazonic spatial environment. We think sounds better than what's in Unity. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to hear in a hall filled with 17 other headsets and people moving around. Uh, but this is basically what it looks like. Uh, there's five large Amazonic, uh, ambient loops going, and then there's also very specific position, positionally placed sounds. Uh, so it's tracking your position, and it's also tracking your head rotation. Uh, and you all and here are some still images. And my friend Noah, who's here with me, said uh, showing still images of the VR experience is like doing a pencil drawing of your acid trip. Uh, so it's quite a large space, it's about a quarter mile square. Uh, it would take about, I guess, 15, 20 minutes if you walked the whole perimeter. Uh, it's moving a little faster than it normally does in the salon right now. Um, the experience is supposed to be contemplative, slow, there's no start or end. It's an environment to move throughout and explore um, with the hope that you will then create your own memory of this place. And you can get to the edge, but you really can't go too far past it. Um, so the first time this was shown was at Apex Art in New York. I was able to curate around this piece. Uh, another work by Rachel Rosen was in the show as well. Um, for the show, uh, Nicholas O'Brien uh, wrote that where, this is in reference to Open Sky, Paul Royal would suggest that the virtual window or teleport would create a sensation of no more delay or no more relief. This piece instead offers a contemplative man manifestation of how we try to hold on to lingering impressions. Hmm. 
and as the show, uh, employs the power of new simulation-based technologies to remember rather than forget. Um, I've since been back to that place, which I'm very familiar with, and I now have memories of certain portions of that landscape from the <coughs> environment um, that I recall being you know, physically in. And the show is set up like this. Uh, you're not seeing, and there's no access to what the other viewers are seeing. These are three different works. All the works in the show were uh, based around virtual landscapes collected from real world sites, places, objects. Um, there were three VR headsets, one video game piece, and a sound sculpture. 